Hey everybody, so I am here with a new pair of shoes today, as you can tell from the title. So I just recently got a pair, actually they just arrived today, I got a pair of the Saucony Ride ISO 2s. And uh, I'm very excited to try these out. So I'm just gonna do kind of like a little first impression sort of thing. First of all, these are a neutral trainer. They're gonna be your everyday shoe, you know, good for long runs, stuff like that. You could probably run a marathon in them. Uh, just a little bit of a backstory. I have run exclusively in the Saucony Ride series since I started running in mid-2016, starting with the eights and um, then running in the nines and the tens. And um, let's see. Yeah, I was probably gonna go to the next one, which was the Ride ISO, uh, which, so they stopped numbering them. They went with the ISO, then the ISO 2, which is essentially like the 10, and then 11 and 12. Now the Ride 13s are back out on the market this year, brand new shoe. I always buy like the model or two previous to the newest because hey, I like to save money. These are still brand new shoes to me and they're only a year old. They were released in uh, April, 2019. So a little bit about them here. Again, they are your neutral running shoe. They're gonna be good for your daily runs, your long run stuff like that. A uh, half pair of eight and a half size eight and a half men's which is what i wear comes in at 9.8 ounces yeah 9.8 ounces which is 278 grams so it's you know a fairly lightweight shoe coming in under 10 ounces pretty good it's got um an eight mil heel to toe drop i believe it is 27 and 19 heel forefoot can't remember exactly, but in any case, so it's not like a, a huge, huge stack on there. I mean, it's, it, you know, it's not like a maximal issue, but it's definitely got a decent amount of cushioning there. Um, one of the things that I read about these that I'm excited about is, so they've got like this uh, crystal rubber on the outsole, and that's supposed to be really good for durability. The Ride 9s and 10s lasted really well for me. I've got a pair of Ride 10s that even though, you know, the sole is quite worn and is usually right up here in the midfoot um, because that's kind of where I land, they still look like brand new out of the box uh, on the sides and the upper and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to the durability of this shoe. A lot of, a lot of reviews, a lot of first impressions are telling me that uh, you know you can get like 600, 700 miles out of these shoes, which is you know like a thousand or eleven hundred kilometers, which is absolutely insane. I love it. For the price point, I got these for under a hundred dollars Canadian, which is like I don't know what's that seventy dollars US or eighty dollars US or something, because uh, they are the year previous model and because I got them on sale, bought them online. So excited to try them out. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out for a little run. I haven't been running a whole lot, so I'm not gonna be running long in these. This, I think this shoe is exactly what I need to get back into running. I've already made a plan for myself, which will be another video on what kind of, not really a race, because it's not a, an event, but it's gonna be a, a solo effort and what I plan on doing. Um, and I think this is the shoe that's gonna get me there. So anyway, let's go ahead and um, take these out on the trail just a, a groom trail. These are gonna be your road shoe, groom trail, you know, stuff like that, paths. It's not gonna be meant for like heavy trails with lots of roots and stuff, not technical. But let's go ahead, take these outside and see how they feel. Very warm out here today. It's not like super hot, but very, very humid. So it's probably like, it's probably only about 75 to 80, but feels more like 90 with the humidity. But it's okay, just out here. Easy run with the shoes, test them out. Feel good so far. Um, Nothing quite like a new shoe day. Probably do like 6K or something like that. Repping the run Nova Scotia wear. Great organization.
might do a couple little pickups with these shoes, but it is very humid and I'm a little bit out of shape. So I don't know about that, but so far, you know, a couple K in, feeling pretty good, nice and comfortable. We'll so see how we get on. Okay, I am a hot mess. Just gonna pick it up that last kilometer, but the sun came out, made the humidity even worse. So it currently feels something like 33, and at probably like 90% or more humidity, so that last kilometer was not very fast. That's okay, still got a good test on these shoes. I'll get cleaned up, tidied up. Tell you what I thought. All right, so here is the moment of truth. My uh, first impressions, my thought on actually taking these out for a run. The very first thing I'm going to mention is that when I took these out of the box and I looked at them, I noticed that the, uh, the upper and the lacing uh, system was quite a bit different. So you can see that it's just, um, you know, like it doesn't have the, the hard eyelets and stuff like that. So that was a huge thing that I noticed right away. And when I first put these on my shoe, on my feet, I didn't have to like relace them or anything. I just tightened up the pre-lacing a little down along the bottom of my foot, you know, up near the toe, because I've got, I've got pretty flat feet. It's, it's weird. I've got like kind of bird-like feet. Um, but in any case, for me, I didn't have to change the lacing structure. I just had to tighten it up in a couple of spots. And I really, really noticed how the, the tongue and the upper just felt super comfortable. And I could just feel it right against the top of my foot. And nothing moved around, nothing slid. Even as hot as it was, as warm as it was, and as, um, you know, as sweaty as my feet got after just 6K, there was still no uh, issue at all with the upper, which is huge for me because um, one of the things that I've had an issue with over the past year and I don't know if it's related to my injury I just I have no idea but one of the things is that I have found a little bit of pain on the top of my foot um, but also um, sometimes you get a little bit of irritation at the top of my foot uh, which never ever happened with those previous ride shoes that I've you know been wearing so I don't think it's the shoe but I didn't notice anything like that with this shoe here um, you know and it felt nice and light it felt responsive you know, the, the Ride Series is only going to be like a, a medium responsive or a slightly responsive shoe. It's not, 
you know, you're not going to get a huge, huge, super amount of energy return with this, um, like you would, you know, obviously with like a carbon plated shoe or something like that. But it's meant for those kind of everyday runs or long runs or something. So it's going to be comfortable. It's not maximal, but it's just a good balanced shoe. And so I haven't been running a whole lot lately. I haven't been sleeping well because of the heat. It was hot out there on the run. Just a lot of different factors played into this and, and affected today's run, making it not the most pleasant run ever. But, you know, the shoe had nothing to do with that. That was the bright spot of today's run was this shoe. I mean, everything about it felt super comfortable. I mean, you know, I have nothing but good things to say about this Ride ISO 2. And I did a lot of uh, reviewing or like looking at reviews from various sources about this shoe before I bought it. Um, and you know, like I've mentioned before, I always kind of bargain shop. I always get the year or two previous model because it's always cheaper. No difference here. And a lot of people have uh, mentioned this uh, on my posts, but also on a couple of other uh, YouTuber channels that I've, you know, on videos that I've, where I've commented about having the Ride ISO 2 and getting ready to take it out. And a lot of people have said that, you know, it's on clearance right now in, in various US locations or online for like $60 US, $70 US. So that's like, you know, $90, $100, uh, not even, not even $100 Canadian. I mean, you know, this is, that's a good price. This is a top of the line, not top of the line, but like a really high quality shoe that um, by all indication is going to give me, you know, a minimum 500 miles, 800 kilometers. But a lot of people are saying they've got six, 700 miles out of them. So, uh, and it's because I think of that crystal rubber at the bottom, uh, just that little bit of extra durability. Now I do wear these shoes on that, uh, you know, the rail to trail, the little very fine crushed gravel. I don't know if that would uh, wear away uh, that outsole quicker than if it was just on pavement. But in either case, you know, if I get, if I get four or 500 miles out of a pair of shoes, 650, uh, to 800 kilometers out of a pair of shoes, I am more than happy. And especially at this price point that you can get this model at now, being a year old model, being able to get it for under a hundred bucks Canadian delivered to my door. That's amazing. Honestly. Um, I am excited to someday, hopefully soon, try the Ride 13s, but I don't need those right now. So I try to not have too crazy big of a uh, running shoe collection because number one, it's space, but number two, you know, I just gotta be able to let stuff go when they've run their course. With that said, probably soon gonna get another trail shoe or maybe something that is more geared to speed work. Been looking at a couple of different shoes, maybe. Uh, sticking with Saucony and trying the Convera. I've never tried that shoe before. Or maybe going to Brooks and trying the uh, Hyperion Tempo. But as far as the Ride ISO 2 goes, everything you have read online that praises this shoe is absolutely true. My first impression of it, like I say, I mean, I have to give it a 10 out of 10. Like there is nothing about this shoe that um, I would change or anything after this first run. So I'll probably do another review or another kind of update after maybe like 100 miles or something like that. I found it right out of the box to be perfect, but I know shoes will always break in and, and feel good even better after a, a few runs. So once I get it up to about 100K to 100 miles, somewhere in that range, I'll do another little update video on this. But honestly, guys, go ahead and buy yourself a pair of Ride ISO 2s. Um, <laughs> they're cheap right now, and they're a very quality shoe. So... Thanks for watching. Let me know if you've got any comments about this shoe or others uh, that you want to pop down in the comments there, any questions or anything like that. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.